Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys Mirage Comics TMNT video, and today, this is one of just the coolest things ever, and when I saw it revealed last year at Toy Fair, it just was, I can't believe NECA Toys made this, but then, yes, I can believe NECA Toys did this, because this is Kirby, not just any Kirby, this is Jack the King Kirby from Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Fourth World, everything. Gorgeous artwork by Kevin Eastman on the sides, the bottom, everywhere, all over this box. And on the backside, you get really nice photos of everything you'll be enjoying in this box. Uh, you can tell by my voice. Very excited to have an action figure for Jack Kirby. And I can't wait for not only the Rat King, but the Triceraton Warriors as well. This Mirage Comics toy line is sure shaping up to be something amazing. Now, on the bottom of the box, a lot of information, but Jack Kirby's image is being used with permission that was granted by his wife, Rosalind Kirby, her trust. NECA Toys did this. This is an awesome, just awesome action figure to produce based on one of the greatest comic book artists of all time. Not only that, you get everyone involved with the creation of this figure. You guys nailed it. This is exciting. Of course, here's the barcode. Now, this is starting to hit Target store shelves as part of their spring holothon. So hopefully one of these coming Fridays, Jack the King Kirby will also be available to purchase via the app. Now, for those of you unfamiliar, Kirby hails from the one issue micro series featuring Donatello. In the story, they're all hanging out at April's apartment. The water goes out. Raphael and April send Donatello down to the basement to check on the pipes. And that is where Donatello meets Kirby, who has a very interesting warp crystal that's attached to his pencil. And when he sketches, brings everything to life. Now, Kirby and Donatello become fast friends. They journey into a portal that Kirby had drawn and it's just a whole mess of all these wild Jack Kirby creations brought to life. At one point, Donatello gets overwhelmed with all the creatures and Jack Kirby draws him using a negative gravity gun, which is in this package, in case you were wondering, for this action figure. It's very cool, nonetheless. But I will tell you this, and I will not spoil this. If you've never read this comic do so. It is great. It's a great homage to the love that Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird both shared for, again, Jack Kirby. They absolutely nailed it. It's such a sweet, nice story. Plus, at the end of the issue on the back page, you totally get to see Michelangelo's detail. So, that's just an extra bonus, uh, I would say, right? <laughs> I'm glad they stopped drawing those things. Hey, did you know that they adapted this for the kids' book entitled The Magic Crystal, where they basically simplified the story? And this is where I found out about this story. And it wasn't until a little bit later where I go, wait a minute, the Donatello Micro Series is the original from Mirage Comics. That's amazing. And the 2003 TMNT show adapted this story into one of their episodes, which again is pretty much spot on to what you see. And there was supposed to be a fifth Ninja Turtle named Kirby, but it sadly never came about. But if Negatoys, uh, if you're watching this, why don't you make a, a Kirby turtle while you're at it? So that's enough about all that. We got an action figure to talk about. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA toys straight from their Mirage Comics TMNT line. Jack the King Kirby. Here we go. So now here is everything taken out of the packaging. And what I like most about this is that it is so delectably just Jack Kirby through and through. From the accessories, the extra hands, the little gizmo that he draws up, the sketch pad, everything is there for a Jack Kirby action figure. First and foremost, we get the negative gravity gun that Jack Kirby draws up for Donatello to defeat all the monsters when they travel to the alternate realm. It is a little bit different from the prior released one that we saw with the Fugitoid in that it has a lot less paint. This one is just basically blue and black. I will tell you this though, if you have the recent Jim Lawson Turtles for the Mirage Comics line, it's unfortunately too long to fit 
for this particular turtle style. So that is going to be kind of a hiccup that, yes, there is a way that you can overcome it, but it's kind of a pain to do it. So basically, you can insert just the hand, get that wrapped around, get that holding it. You got the other end, grab your Donatello figure, and then simply just as fix it to the figure just like that. It is not going to go into the arm in any way, shape, or form. It kind of looks like he has a little bit of an extendo arm, but it also looks kind of cool too. And that's the way you're gonna have to do it if you want it to look this way. With the original release of the NECA Toys Mirage Turtles, that will fit. So there's no problems there, but you get to see the difference in the colors. This new one is a little bit lighter, whereas the first release was a little bit darker, plus it has some black and then some color to it as well. So there's a little bit of a change, but it's the same device through and through. Now, this is also one of my favorite accessories. It's one of a little Kevin Eastman, Jack Kirby creature creation, but Jack Kirby through and through, no doubt. It's a little bug space monster looking guy. The paint is perfection on this. The style is awesome. It has a little bit of a wash and it has some articulation to it as well. There's not gonna be a whole heck of a lot, especially in the head. It kinda sorta rotates, but you'll see a lot more in the shoulders, the arms, nothing at the elbows, nothing at the wrists, nothing like that. Nothing at the waist either, but the legs, you will have to kind of position him with the legs in kind of that sweet spot stance because of the thinness of his legs. So just get him in the right sweet spots and he will stand no problemos. And likewise, you also get a little Jack Kirby weapon, which has some black markings like the comic book. It's perfect. Kind of reminds me of Calabax Club in so many ways. But I will tell you this. He holds it perfectly, but you're going to have to heat the hands up if you want to put the club in there. He has an entirely too tight a grip. So just heat him up, put the club in his hand, and you'll be good to go forever. Moving on, we do get a ton of extra hands for Kirby. These include item holding hands, fisted hands, and... Well, the Magic Warp Crystal pencil holding hand, which is just a nice touch overall, and he holds it beautifully. That's the most important thing. You also get the sketch pad, and this, if any accessory for Jack Kirby, a sketch pad and a pencil, that is just perfection to me, but this is straight from the comic book. It's Donatello with the negative gravity gun. It has a little note on it as well, but on the back side, you get to see a little creature creation, which is a nice touch. However, I would have loved to have seen the paper airplane. Just as an FYI, that would have been stellar. Now, we also get the pencil straight from the issue with the magic warp crystal attached. Beautifully done, perfection overall, and just as little TMNT tidbits, potentially, depending on how you see TMNT continuity, the pencil that also brought April O'Neil to life. Now, what I said about him holding the sketch pad and the pencil, you say? Well, yes, he holds both beautifully. You couldn't ask for anything more. Just for a Jack Kirby figure, you're good. Articulation aside, you don't need it. But when old Jack and Donatello go up against Jack Kirby's monstrous creations and you need to add a little bit more firepower, not to worry, Kirby has his pencil at the ready and now Donatello is certainly ready to blast some monsters with his negative gravity energy weapon. Couldn't ask for anything more. This is the comic book brought to life. Oh yeah, Jack Kirby himself. Man, oh man, I can't say it enough. That is just stellar. I think the head portrait beautifully recreated from the artwork that you see of the character of Kirby and just the greens, the blues, the shoes, the sweater with the collared shirt. Now, there are some swapped out parts and pieces, of course, but this is going to share the exact same body as the recent Mirage Comics Baxter Stockman as well. Now, unbeknownst to me until I started doing a little bit more deep dive research for this video, IDW did do a color classic series for this Donatello micro series. And yes, the colors that you see on Jack Kirby are part of of that, whereas I'm just familiar with it being black and white. As far as I know, I don't think they ever colorized it past this, but I could be wrong. So treat this for now as just the IDW Color Classics version of this Kirby figure. And he comes with two fisted hands for beating up those Nazis, if he knows what I mean. Plenty of articulation all around. Like I said, you're really not gonna use this too much other than 
Kirby holding a sketchbook and a pencil. But yes, plenty of articulation abounds for old Jack the King. Now, in terms of scale, like I said, it's going to be the exact same figure as Baxter Stockman. But just to show you between this new Jim Lawson, TMNT Donatello, and of course, a little monster creation, I would say that, yes, that's a decent height between the two. Depending on if you have the original NECA releases or if you have these new Mirage Jim Lawson turtles, they'll go either way. Although I would like to see the version two of the Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird TMNT. I would love to see NECA tackle that. But if you do have the original releases, yes, this will go as well. And like I said, the device definitely fits a whole heck of a lot better on these turtle versions. So choose your own adventure as to what will go on your shelf. And then just to kind of show you the scaleature between some of the other NECA Toys Mirage comics releases from Casey Jones to the Utrom, which God, I love that figure. Of course, Jack Kirby, Baxter Stockman, and Splinter. You can see the differences, what's been swapped out between Kirby and Baxter Stockman. But yes, all the scaling is there. They have nailed it. But the most fun you can have is with Jack Kirby and all his other comic book creations. Now, I know Spider-Man is not his, but Tales to Astonish... He definitely drew the cover, so you got Giant Man and Spider-Man. You could do the old salute with Captain America, which, god dang, is that just the raddest thing ever? God, I love this. This is amazing. And to top it all off, if you have the HasLab Galactus, with all the articulation that Galactus has, yes, you can open his hand and seat old Jack Kirby right there. And I think that is how I'm going to display this from now on. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA toys straight from the Mirage Comics Donatello micro series, Jack the King Kirby, or just Kirby, right? Wink, wink. This is an awesome figure. I am so happy, so jazzed that NECA Toys was able to create this, to make a figure of Jack Kirby. I couldn't ask for anything more. The accessories are spot on. Everything works. Everything looks great. Uh, it's just, it's a great figure. Definitely pick it up. If not for your TMNT shelf, well, definitely for your Marvels and your DC and every other creation that Jack Kirby led his hand in creating. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Jack Kirby. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, life at best is bittersweet. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.